I'd like to introduce next, uh, finally, our first member of the audience who's come today to share a bit of uh, her personal experience with us, uh, my dear sister Bessima. Bessima, I'd like to invite you to the stage, and I want everybody to make some noise for Bessima, please. Before we 
we move on, let's take a moment of silence for our dearly departed. This is how we do it, everybody. This is how we, we get through these things. We do it together. You come up here, you talk about something you're going through, something you think is just for you and just within you, and you realize in front of a crowd, you're not alone. We're not alone. If there's one thing that's going to get us through these, these challenges, especially with substance abuse and addiction, it's understanding that we're not alone in all this. There is help. There is hope. We don't have to suffer through these things or watch our loved ones suffer through these things. I'm very glad so many of you have come out here today. I'm very happy that we have such a variety of speakers and, uh, and people ready to share. You know, just this moment as people have come up, I've already had so many people come up to me and say, listen, I want to go up next, I want to go up next. I'm going to try to get as many people up here tonight as possible. If for any reason we run out of time, that's what next month is for. We'll be back here again in July, third Wednesday of the month from now until the end of the year. Okay? Uh, so we, we, we're going to make room for everybody for, uh, as, and, and for as many people as we can. So I'm going to try to get uh, uh, those of you up here who can so far. I have a couple of people who have asked to, and uh, if we have more time, we'll get everybody else up. Otherwise, again, third Wednesday of every month, you're born open mic right here at the museum. My dear friend and brother, Mr. Hassan Muldafar, I'd like to invite you up. He's bringing up his two beautiful daughters who are going to share something with us. Come on up. Everybody, make some noise. What's your name, my dear? Like a beautiful golden necklace. 
a colorful fading brightness waiting for the moon to wake up next to sparkling stars reminding me of family happily together. Always love your family from the moon and back. Thank you. My pleasure. That was awesome. Make noise for both of these beautiful ladies. All right. I got one more uh, coming up to the stage for now. Uh, we'll we'll see how time works, but uh, I'd like to welcome once again to the stage Nasreen Nurban Faraj. Come on. extra bright. I pull the covers up over my head and welcome the creeping feeling of melancholia. How lucky am I that when my depression visits me, she does not discriminate on the season. How often have I been called the extrovert? Let my boisterous facade reel you in. Subterfuge in order to make it to tomorrow. But do I even want to make it to tomorrow? There's only one way through the path of black stone, and it is to walk alone, and that's how I know she is near. Because I usually fear a walk alone, but when she is near, I don't. And not because she makes me brave, but because I don't value myself enough to stay safe. Bring on the danger. I'm ready for a challenge. I probably won't even fight back. Depression does not hold my hand. She does not announce herself, though I feel her keen and present. She keeps a distance, but is always lingering. Has me searching for her around every corner, not realizing she's right behind me. She laughs as my inner angst erupts into exhaustion and encourages me to go on. There are a close two who love me so, ask me what is wrong, and of course my nothing is wrong is accompanied by a smile so sincere. How could they not believe me? Is it she who urges me to lie this way? She does like to have me isolate, easier for her to keep me in this state, having me excavate a trench to lie in, literally having me make my bed. She locks me into a safe and throws away the key, and I just sit and wonder if anybody will ever find it. While I'm here, time is deceiving. Has it been a few days, or a month, or five minutes? Sometimes I want to cry, I just let the tears stream down my face, I don't wipe them away, I question why I'm crying and I don't get it, I can't pinpoint a trigger, she tells me my questions are impertinent. So I just sit, blank stare at the wall. I'm not sure if it's better on days that I'm numb to the pain, or if it is progression on the days that I feel all the hurt. Overwhelmingly painful, numbness, no longer a feeling for anybody in the universe. Sad and anger and longing are the raindrops that drench me, blend with my tears and aching until I choke on the sob and the breaths that are trying to work their way out of me. Depression. She has a sense of humor, doesn't she? She convinced me that she threw the key away. Deceived into believing that to be released is to wait for somebody to find it. But she simply placed it in my back pocket. And once I found that out, I was still entranced. It took me a moment to work up the courage to free myself, but I did. And she didn't stop me from leaving. She just bid me a farewell with a brief, until next time. Thank you, everybody. Ooh. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Is it 
never heard before. This is Kabas, everybody. Say hi, Kabas. So I have a piece written by Danya Salami, a very dear friend of mine, and it's up for interpretation. So however you take the message, that's how it's meant for you, okay? Right. If it was fun. Guilt trips are not ones many people would be willing to go on. If your friends jumped off a cliff, would you do it too? Yeah. Shaky legs and wasting anxious thoughts held me back. But numbingly, cold water gave my body another reason to shiver. A slight panic as I fell through the air, then scrambling to get back to it. One more time, over and over again. It has to be an odd number, it just does. Anxiety had turned into exhilaration. The water became a deafening, forgiving familiarity. And back to the top, I would return once more. Thank you. Listen, what time you got? 59, we got time for one more. Okay, come on. Feels like it flies by every month. I want to thank you guys all for coming out. Just a couple of things before you go. 
Uh, first thing is we're here third Wednesday of every month. Please come out. The stage is now open, so we want to get as many people up here as possible. Uh, next month we'll um, uh, introduce a bunch of new faces and bring back some old ones. On your way out, guys, just uh, please take a look at the ASAP uh, Community Coalition table over here. And we want to thank you guys for your wonderful initiative. Thank you so much. Uh, after the show, what we do is uh, we wrap up, we close up, and we go over to Hannah's Coffee, and we get some coffee over there. There's a table open for us. They reserve a table. They're very hospitable and accommodating, and the weather's nice, so we can kind of hang out outside, too. We'll see you guys next month. Thank you for coming out. Bless you. Good night.